August 21, 2017, last year, millions around the world watched in awesome wonder. Mamilioni katika dunia hii yote yalishuhudia kitu cha ajabu sana. As an amazing eclipse took place in the sky. Kitu cha ajabu sana katika angaletu wakati ambapo jua lilipatwa. They were fascinated. Ilikuwa inashangaza na ilikuwa inapendeza pia. Because you see the sun is the largest star at the center of the solar system. Unajua jua ndio nyota kubwa kuliko zote katikati hapa ya uhu. It is the biggest object in the earth sky. Ndio kitu kikubwa kabisa katika angaletu. And the sun is 93 million miles from earth. Na umbali kutoka kwenye jua mpaka duniani ni kilomita milioni 149. And is the most important source of energy. Na ndicho chanzo kikubwa kabisa cha nguvu na uhai. For life on earth. Hapa katika duniani. Now I want you to picture Earth. Nataka uifikirie juu ya dunia. Very small in comparison to the sun. Kwa sababu ni kadogo sana ukilinganisha na jua. The sun is 109 times larger than the earth. Jua ni litufe likubwa mara 109 ukilinganisha na kadunia kadogo sana. And a million earths could fit inside the sun. Yaani ukichukua dunia hii milioni moja usiweke 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 milioni moja zinatoshea pale kwenye dunia. The sun is enormous. And the light of the sun and its heat influence the objects in the solar system. And without the sun, life on earth couldn't even exist. So we need the sun. And the all-powerful creator of the universe causes the sun to set and to rise and set on time. Analifanya hili jua lipabazuke na lituwe kila siku kwa muda wake. He is a great God. Ni mungu wa peke sana. And in Psalms it says, Katika Zaburi anasema, The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Dunia imeja fadhili za buwana. So God has given us many good things. Kwa yo mungu anatupatia vitu vingine vizuri sana. The natural world all around us speaks of his love. Vitu vyote vya asili katika dunia vina zungumzia the rainbow of his love. You see, God created our planet for the for us to have the best environment. Mungu alituumbia hisa ya rieto ili sisi tuwe na mazingira bora kabisa. And the other in the on the other planets, there's no life. Katika sayari zingine hakuna maisha. Because it's so far from the sun. Zingine ziko mbali zaidi kuliko nyu. But God made the sun just right for us on earth. Lakini mungu aliweka umbali sawi ya kabisa ili tuweze kufaidi. And with all the aspects of the sun. Na ukiangali ya pamoja na huo uingi na uzuri na faida zajiwa. Our loving Creator has given us the sun to bend. Benefit our health. You see, sunlight is a revelation of God's love. Sunlight is another prescription for abundant health from the Garden of Eden. Sunshine is one of God's natural remedies for health. And you see, all of God's natural remedies are universal. They work, they work around the world. They work here in Africa. Zina five. Zina fanya kazi hapa Afrika. And they work in China. Zina fanya kazi China. They work in America. Zina fanya kazi huko Marekani. They work everywhere in the world. Kwa watu wote zina fanya kazi kila mahali. And you see, the sun shines on the rich and the poor. Jua linaangaza kwa matajiri na kwa maskini. And the sun shines on the educated and the uneducated. Tena linaangaza kwa waliosoma na wasiosoma. And so for optimum health, we need 
sunlight. In the great book Ministry of Healing, it says the pure air. Inasema, uh, safi. And the glad sunshine. Na wajua. That's the happy sunshine. Ambapo ni mwanga, wanawona, kama ni mwanga wenye furaha. And the beautiful flowers and trees. Na maua mazuri, na miti mizuri. And the orchards and vineyards. Miti ya machungwa, na mizabibu. And outdoor exercise. Na mazoezi, tunayofanya nje ya mazingira yetu. These surroundings are life-giving and health-giving. Hivi vitu vyote vinafazunguka hivyo, vinaboresha maisha yetu, vinatupatia. So the sun is a very important part of our health. Kwa hiyo jua mwanga wake ni kitu muhimu sana katika afya zetu. Now my friends there are times of great memories in one's life. Marafiki zangu katika maisha yetu kuna kuwa na ule wa mambo ambayo tunayakumbuka katika maisha. And in our family we have many great memories. Katika familia yangu tuna mambo mengi sana ya kukumbuka. These are our grandchildren. Hawa ni wajukuu zetu. Our oldest is Dyson. Huyu mkubwa anaitwa Dyson. And then Claire. Kuna Taya. And then Shay. Kuna Shay. And Aiden. Kuna Eden. And little Evelyn peeking through. Na hapo ka Evelyn kako kadogo. Evelyn is 5. Evelyn yuko na miaka mitano. And Shay is 7. Uh, Aiden is 7. Na Eden yuko na miaka 7. Shay is 8. Na Shane yuko na miaka nane. And Claire and Dyson are nine. How are we Litain na Dyson wako na miaka tisa? So all these wonderful grandchildren. How are Toto wa Ajabu sana wa Jukuze tu? We are very blessed. Tumebarikiwa, amen. And we have many, many blessings in life. Na tukwa na mibaraka mingi, mingi sana. And we have many memories. Na pia tukwa na kumbukumu nzuri ya katika maisha yetu. And there is a memory that happened on June 25. Kuna kitu cha kukumbuka ambacho kimetokea uh, uh, mwezi wa 6 tarehe 25 1967 uh, mwaka 1967 little over 50 years ago ha, wa, hapo na miaka katika doa and pastor finley and i were married tayari walikuwa wameshaoana huo mwaka tisa Hiyo ni picha ya wakati walipokuwa wamefurahia ya ndoa Waliwasha mshumaa signifying we are individuals wali wakiwa wanaonyesha kwamba ni mtu mmoja mmoja wote wakawasha mshumaa mmoja signifying we are one kuonyesha sasa kwamba ni mmoja ni mwili mmoja and so our children this year sasa mwaka huu watoto wao ask what can we do for your 50th wedding anniversary tutawafanyia nini kwa kumbukumbu yenu ya miaka 50 ya ndoa we want to do something special tukasema tunataka kufanya kitu kizuri special I, i said the greatest thing we could do is kitu kikubwa tunachoweza kufanya is for our family to be all together ni familia yetu kuwa pamoja all 13 of us wote 13 and we would like to be out in the sunshine. Na tutatamani kuwa mahali nje kwenye mwanga wajua. So we decided kwa hiyo tukaamua to go to a little place called Tybee Island. Tuende kwenye kasehemu kadogo hapo kanakoitwa Tybee Island ni kisiwa cha Tybee. We rented a house. Wakaenda wakapangisha nyumba. We could all be together. Wote wakiwa pamoja, watoto na wajukuu. And we celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary. Tukasherehekea miaka yetu 50 ya ndoa. Haleluya. And my children and we thought we would do something special for our little grandchildren. Na kaona tufanye kitu kizuri muhimu sana kwa wajukuu zetu and so what we did is decided to get our wedding dress and our wedding clothes out of our cedar chest walikuwa wamehifadhi nguo zao zile zile za harusi kwenye kiboksi maalum cha kuhifadhia nguo wakaamua wavae nguo zao zile zile walizovaa kwenye harusi that had been there for 50 years ambazo wamezitunza kwa miaka 50 and we thought we would surprise our grandchildren wakaona ngoja tuwashangaze wajukuu zetu so i put my wedding dress on tayari akavaa the same one I wore for years ago. And my husband put his 
top coat on. Na mume wake naye akavaa koti lile lile alilolivaa kwenye harusi. Ile ile kwenye harusi. And my son-in-law played here comes the bride. Na tayari mkwe wake sasa akasema haya sasa anakuja huyo mpige harusi. Na watoto wa jukuu akapiga makofi. And they cheered. Wakashangilia. And they were so happy. Na wakawa na furaha. To see grandma and grandpa. Wakaona bibi na babu kwenye nguo zao za zile za harusi. And so we were making many memories. Na tayari wakawa na vitu vingi sana vya kukumbuka. We Washangilieni na wao pia. We were all out on the beach. Na tayari wakaona wakaenda ufukweni. In the marvelous sunshine. Ma- kwenye mwanga wa jua mahali pazuri. Improving our health. Wakaenda kuboresha afya zao. And our little grandchildren. Na watoto wao hao wajukuu wadogo. Wanted to come out and take a picture of Wakaenda kuzingira wakiwa wameshika vimaua ni harusi nyingine hiyo. In their wedding clothes. Wakiwa na mavazi yao ya harusi. So we were making wonderful love memories. Na tayari walikuwa wanafanya kumbukumbu nzuri ambazo hazitasahaulika kwenye maisha yetu. Out in the sunshine. Hapo katika mwanga wa jua. We see because sunlight is crucial for our over kwa sababu mwanga wa jua ni kitu muhimu sana katika maisha yetu. And sunlight happens to be one of the most healing agents that we can have. Kwa sababu mwanga wa jua ni wakala mzuri sana ambaye anatusaidia kwenye afya yetu na ni kitu kizuri tunachoweza kukipata. So let's look at some benefits of sunshine. Hebu tuangalie faida za mwanga wa jua. Sunshine in moderation provides all the health benefits that we need. Mwanga wa jua kwa kiasi unatupatia faida zote za afya tunazoweza kuhitaji. Sunshine strengthens the immune system. Inaimarisha mfumo wa kinga mwilini. We've talked about that. Tumezungumza kuhusu hilo. And how it important it is to have a strong immune system. Na hivyo inabidi ni muhimu sana tujenge mfumo wa kinga imara. If we're going to live longer. Kama tunataka tuishi maisha marefu and healthier. Na maisha yenye afya tunatakiwa tuwe na mfumo wa kinga imara and also sunshine na pia mwanga wa jua actually alleviates pain unaondoa maumivu katika viungo now when you get older unajua unapokuwa mtu mzima unazeeka tend to get some chronic pain unakuwa na maumivu sugu hapa na pale but sunshine lakini mwanga wa jua along with exercise na ukifanya mazoezi some good exercise una mazoezi vizuri can alleviate pain unashangaa kama maumivu yanatoka and sunshine lowers blood pressure na mwanga wa jua wenyewe tu unapunguza shinikizo la damu na pia inashusha hata na ile onehemu kwenye damu the researchers did some uh, experiments at Pittsburgh University watafiti katika chuo kikuu cha Pittsburgh on some spinal surgery patients ukaangalia hawa wagonjwa wanaofanyiwa wa Uh, upasuaji kwenye utu wa mgongo and they discovered that they experienced less pain wakagundua kwamba wanapata maumivu kidogo and even stress na hata msongo unakuwa ni kidogo when they had natural sunlight wanapokwenda wanapowekwa kwenye mwanga wa jua so sunlight is a great healing benefit kwa hiyo mwanga wa jua una faida nyingi sana za uponyaji and sunshine stimulates the appetite na pia mwanga wa jua unachochea hamu ya chakula Here are our two little grandsons hawa wajukuu zetu ambao mnawaona hapo ambao wako hapo katika huo mwanga they had a wonderful appetite baada ya kucheza hapo kwenye mwanga wa jua walisikia hamu ya cha yakula nzuri ya kuwa tu kwenye maji and having that wonderful sunshine na kupata huo mwanga wa jua ukiwa mulia na tayari hawa wajukuu zetu wengine watatu wakiwa wanacheza cheza hapo kwenye So they had a great appetite. Na wenyewe pia wakawa na hamu sana ya chakula. And their whole digestion improved. Kwa sababu mmengenyo wa chakula unaboreka. Una And even the elimination improved. Na ule mfumo wa kutoa uchafu pia unaboreka. And sunlight gives a healthy complexion. Na inawapatia sura nzuri. And actually studies have shown na utafiti zimeonyesha kwamba that sunlight benefits Alzheimer's patients. Mwanga wa jua unasaidia hao wagonjwa wenye matatizo ya kuharibika chembe za ubongo. And clinical research has shown na watafiti pia wameonyesha that exposure to light wanapowekwa kwenye mwanga throughout the day siku nzima with 
coupled with uh, night at uh, darkness at night na ujioni sasa ndio wakaingizwa kwenye giza actually can improve some part some things of alzheimer's disease vina vinasaidia kuboresha vipengele flani flani vya huu ugonjwa kwa kuharibika chembe za ubongo it reduce these patients agitation inawapunguzia hasira na kukereka their sleep was better na wanalala vizuri they didn't wake up as much in the night na hawaamkiamki usiku kama vile wanavyofanya siku zote decreasing the nighttime activity na wanapunguza huyo hayo mahangaiko ya jioni so sunlight has healing agents kwa hiyo mwanga wa jua una ni wakala mzuri wa uponyaji it reduces depression inapunguza sonona you're going to feel happier utajisikia vizuri it's going to soothe the nerves inaboresha hizo na nerves pia zinafurahi neva zinafurahi you get out there among those trees kwa hiyo unapokwenda kule katika hiyo miti chini ya miti kule and if you don't have trees in your front or backyard na kama huna miti mbele au nyuma ya nyumba yako inawezekana ukatakiwa kupanda miti i talked to my good friend upendo this morning nilizungumza na rafiki yangu upendo asubuhi ya leo and i was telling her about the different fruits that we have at home nilikuwa namwambia kuhusu aina tofauti tofauti za miti ya matunda tunayo nyumbani na tu akasema tunapenda haya mapera and they grow in a warm climate na kwa sababu yanakuja katika kipindi cha joto We have wonderful peaches. Na tunaweza tukawa na haya matunda mazuri. She said I'm going to plant a peach tree. Akasema na mimi naenda kupanda huu mti wa haya matunda. And then you can go out underneath that peach tree. Kwa hiyo unaweza ukaenda ukakaa chini ya ule mti. And it will serve soothe your nerves. Na ikakusaidia kwenye nafu zako. And it will elevate the mood. Inakuletea uwe na furaha hisia ya furaha. And health educator Ellen White wrote this. Mkuvunzi huyu wa afya mama Ellen G White. Perfect cleanliness akasema usafi barabara which we need because we need to get those those toxins out every day kwa sababu tunatakiwa tutoe masumu yanayotuzingira wakati wote eliminate all those impurities na tutoe hizo uh, sumu zote and then she says plenty of sunlight na huwa mwanga mzuri wa jua and careful attention to sanitation in every detail na kuangalia habari ya kanuni za afya kwa undani wake are essential to keep from disease. Ni muhimu sana kwa kutusaidia kuepukana na maradhi. And have cheerfulness. Na inaleta uchangamfu. And vigor. Na inaleta nguvu. So if you want to be more cheerful. Kwa hiyo kama unataka kuwa mchangamfu, get plenty of sunlight. Pata mwanga mzuri wa jua wakati wote. And researchers have found many things as they've conducted studies on sunlight. Na tafiti nyingi sana zimegundua mambo mengi sana walivyofanya tafiti kuhusu mwanga wa jua. And they have discovered wamegundua kwamba that sunlight actually improves our mood. Wamemwanga wa jua unafanya tuwe na hisia nzuri za furaha. And patients who were sick took less medications. Wagonjwa wanaoumwa wakiwekwa kwenye mwanga wa jua walichukua dawa kidogo kuliko sio wanapokuwa kwa kiasi. Walipopata mwanga wa jua and they found that uh, patients who were placed in rooms wa, wale wagonjwa wanaowekwa kwenye vyumba that had sunlight ambao madirisha yamefunguliwa na mwanga umeingia ndani kumbe wanakuwa na msongo hata kidogo than those that were in dim rooms kuliko wale ambao walikuwa wamewekwa kwenye vyumba vyenye giza au vyumba vyenye vyenye so it's very important kwa hiyo ni muhimu sana to see that even the light coming through the windows is important kwamba hata ule mwanga unaokuja tu kwa kupitia kwenye dirisha ni muhimu sana it can improve your mood inaweza ikafanya hisia zako zikawa nzuri and sunlight increases that vitality inaongeza nguvu mwanga wa jua unaongeza nguvu because as we get older we have less and less vigor kwa sababu kila tunapokuwa watu wazima nguvu zinapungua mwilini and vitality na uwezo wa kufanya mambo so unapungua kwa hiyo watu wazima ni muhimu sana ukawaweka nje pia even if they can't walk carry them out hata kama hawawezi kutembea wabebe wapeleke nje wakapate mwanga wa jua waende wakapate mwanga wa jua mabibi zetu na mababu zetu waende wakapate hewa safi nje because it will improve their health kwa sababu itaboresha afya zao so keep active 
Kwa hiyo ujishughulishe. Lakini pia pata mwanga wa jua. And actually the United Press International said Na pia katika huu moja wa kitaifa umesema Actually the sun can kill the germs on laundry. Mionzi kutoka kwenye mwanga wa jua unaweza ukaua wadudu katika nguo zetu tunazoanika. That's dried outside on a clothesline. Tunapoanika nguo katika mwanga wa jua. And it gives the clothes even a good smell. Na inaipatia nguo zetu harufu nzuri. Now there are some people even in America that still hang their clothes outside. Kuna watu fulani hivi huko Marekani ambao nao pia bado wanaanika nguo zao nje. This is a picture of the clothes from the Amish, a group of people called the Amish. Hii ni kundi la watu la Waami ambao bado wao wanafanya vitu vya asili wanaanika nguo kwenye kamba. And they simple life. Nao wao wanaishi hayo maisha ya asili. So they don't have washing machines. Hawataki kabisa kutumia mashine ya kuoshea au mashine ya kukaushia. Wanaanika nguo zao nje. And I know you hang them out here in Africa. Na mimi najua hapa Afrika si tunafua na kuanika nje. And that's very good. Na hilo ni jambo jema sana. You see in America. Huko Marekani. We wash them in the washing machine. Tunaosha kwenye mashine. They all get washed together. Tunaosha pamoja kwenye mashine. Then we dry tena tunarusha kwenye mashine nyingine kukausha lakini ni kitu kizuri kina afya nzuri unapoanika nguo kwenye kamba nje wakati nilipokuwa msichana mdogo tulianika nguo zetu nje kwenye kamba ukikwe kwenye au tunavuta kamba kwa hiyo saa zote tunazinyosha nyosha hapo kwenye kamba and so we need that sunshine on our body kwa hiyo tunatakiwa tupate mwanga katika miili yetu. Lakini pia tunatakiwa tupate mwanga wa jua katika nguo zetu. Mungu alifanya kila kitu kikiwa kizuri kabisa. And the Bible began with a perfect world. Dunia Biblia ilianza kwamba dunia ilianza ikiwa nzuri. And my friends it's going to end with a perfect world. You see one day the beauty of Eden is going to be restored. Siku moja uzuri wa Eden utarudishwa utarejeshwa. There's going to be no pain. Kutakuwa hakuna maumivu. No sorrow. Kutakuwa hamna huzuni. No sickness. Wala hakuna magonjwa. No death. Wala hakuna vifo. And Eden is going to be restored. Na Eden itarejeshwa. And then we're going to have the light of God. Na pale tutakuwa na mwanga wa Mungu mwenyewe light is like a shining symbol and evidence of god's love mwanga ule utakapokuwa unamulika ni kama alama ya uwepo wa mungu And I don't know what kind of light it's going to be in the new earth. Sijui kwamba kutakuwa kuna mwanga wa namna gani katika dunia mpya. Whether it'll be just light from Jesus. Labda inawezekana tu ikawa ni mwanga kutoka kwa Yesu tu. the sun au kutoka kwenye jua fulani lakini itakuwa ni kitu chema sana kwa sababu mwanga unazungumza kuhusu uwepo wa Mungu wa siku zote ambao Mungu hatuachi hapa duniani na atakuwa pamoja nasi siku zote kwa sababu mbinguni ni mahali halisi And Isaiah 35 says inasema The eyes of the blind shall be opened Macho ya vipofu yatafunguliwa And the deer, ears of the deaf will be unstopped Na masikio ya viziwi yatazimuliwa I see these people here at the stadium. Ninaangalia hawa watu ambao wako katika uwanja huu. Usiku hadi usiku. Signing to the hearing impaired. Wakizungumziwa kwa alama. And my friends I want to tell you. Marafiki zangu ninawaambia. That in the new earth you're going to hear perfectly. Katika dunia mpya mtasikia sawa sawa. Amen. Because the ears of the deaf are going to be unstopped. Kwa sababu masikio ya wasiosikia yatazimuliwa. Because there's going to be joy and happiness everywhere. Utakuwa kuna raha na furaha kila mahali. And Isaiah 65 says, Katika Isaya 65 anasema, They shall build houses and inhabit them. Watajenga nyumba na wataziishi. 
and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. Na watapanda mizabibu na watakula matunda yake. You see my friends we're going to eat the fruits up there. Marafiki zangu tutakwenda kula matunda huko mbinguni. And the things we plant. Na vitu ambavyo tumevipanda. There's not going to be any killing up there. Hakutakuwa na mauaji yoyote ya wanyama ili tule. So we won't be eating any animal food there. Na tutakula vyakula vitokanazo na wanyama mbinguni. So it might be good to learn to love the plant foods here. Labda itakuwa ni vema tuanze hapa kujifunza kula vyakula vitokanavyo na mimea. Because that's what we're going to have up there. Kwa sababu ndicho kitakachokuwa kinaendelea kule mbinguni. But they are going to be so delicious. Na lakini yatakuwa ni mazuri na matamu. Even better than those pineapples that I eat Hata here in Africa. Hata sasa kuya mananasi ninayokula ambao ni matamu sana hapa Afrika. My friends, God has made all the good things for us. Marafiki zangu Mungu amefanya mambo mazuri yote kwa jamii yetu. Including sunshine pamoja na mwanga wa jua. We need sunshine. Tunatakiwa tupate mwanga wa jua. So accept heaven's gift of sunshine. Kwa ukubali zawadi hii ya mbinguni ya mwanga wa jua. Sunshine it has so many benefits. Mwanga wa jua una faida nyingi. Here is your prescription for tonight. Lakini kwa leo naomba nikupatie tiba yako kwa leo. Walk in the sunshine. Tembea katika mwanga wa jua. Ukiwa kichwa kimenyooka. Mabega nyuma. And take those deep breaths. So I think we better do it. Na, Let's stand up everyone here in the stadium. And wherever you are watching, stand up and let's start exercising. Come on, let's go faster. I know you can do it. Some of you are younger than me. Okay, get those arms moving. Come on there. Stretch those hands. Now the other one. Now both of them. Come on, keep going. This is God's health insurance plan. This is what we need to do to be healthy. A little faster. Come on, let's go. I know you can do it. You're doing great. Look at this. Everywhere. Take more exercise. Now I want you to walk. Slow down. Just walk. Take deep breaths. Take deep breaths. Take deep breaths. Breathe in through the nose. 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 And out through the mouth. One more time. Breathe in through the nose. Expand those lungs. And breathe out through the mouth. And relax. And my friends. Follow God's plan. Because God's plan is the best plan. God bless you.